I felt good. Um, I, I feel good today. Um, it was just nice to get um, to get out there in that game situation. I mean, I think you can only throw so many live BPs um, before before you're ready to uh, get out there in a game. So I mean, it was just nice to to kind of get the adrenaline flowing a little bit and um, just get in that game atmosphere. We can go next to Pete Caldera. Hey, Chad. I was wondering if you've been able to observe some of Luis Severino's rehab in, in this last few weeks and just how he's feeling and, and uh, you understand he threw a bullpen for the first time a couple of days ago. Yeah, I mean, I, I wasn't aware they threw a bullpen, I guess, but um, just being over at Himes, uh, I was able to watch him throw a few times. Um, so I can just go off that, but I mean, I thought the ball was coming out really well. I mean, um, I think, yeah, I mean, for, for what I can tell, the arm speed is there. I mean, everything looks, it honestly looks like he's ready to go right now is what, um, kind of what it looked like from, from just playing catch, but um, I, I didn't see him throw off the mouse. So I can't really speak on that. We can go to Ken Davidoff next. Kenny. Hey, Chad. Just want to make sure I had the, the details right. So this was the only time you're at uh, Simon Runner Field when you're pitching in the game. Uh, not right now. I think we just got over here um, and, and switched. We were at Himes um, at first, but now we're at Steinbrenner full time now. Oh, you are okay. Yeah. So, so do you, do you stick around for the games when you're not pitching, or because of COVID protocols, are you encouraged to not stick around? Yeah, because of COVID and and fans being in the stands and stuff. So we're. Um, yeah, not many guys stay for the game just just because of COVID. Right. Thanks, yep. you, Kenny, just to be clear, so yeah, the the pitchers and catchers were exclusively at Himes up until right. the day after our off day, which I guess was Tuesday. Oh. And now we've got there, there's some shuffling of the decks. Basically, right. um, a good chunk of the the pitchers and and the I think three or four catchers are here. Some of the position players that were here are now over at Himes. Himes got reassigned. Okay. Yeah, just Thank to you. continue with, you know, you just couldn't overflow GMS with bodies. Of course. Yeah. Thank okay. You. Yep. You got it. Uh, Dan Mar Dan Martin, go ahead. Chad, uh, is, there, is there anyone you haven't met yet, I and mean, who's on the team who ordinarily would have? Had, is the, these protocols not been in place? Um, I think the the only two guys that come to mind are Jay Bruce and Derek Dietrich. So um, I've crossed paths with with them a few times, um, but haven't had the chance to ha have a conversation have a conversation with them. Um, so that's something I look forward look forward to having in the future. But it's just nice um, getting around getting around the guys, seeing some of the position players. Just being in my first game yesterday, wasn't able to come over here and and just just talk to them. So yeah, it, it was nice to see some faces. How unusual has, has all the, has that been? That that part of what you guys are dealing with at this point, just not being around uh, the entire team. Yeah, it, it's just been different. I think guys are. I mean, but it's. I mean, we're still. I mean, we're still around all the pitchers. I mean, for for the two or three weeks we were over at Heim. So it's. I mean, it was just different and just something with the we had to adjust to, just like we adjusted to everything last year. So it wasn't anything crazy and. Um, guys handled it pretty well, so yeah, it's just it's nice to be back in the same clubhouse. Eric Bolin, please unmute. Ken, you kind of indicated before you can only throw so many live BPs. What pleased you the most with your outing last night? I think just throwing strikes. I mean, I think that was kind of my main goal going in was just trying to pound the zone, and and whatever happens happens. Um, didn't want to get into where I wasn't in good counts or not controlling the zone. So that was just kind of the main focus um, for the first one. So we'll just um, continue to build off that and um, pick the intensity up as we go. But that was just kind of the idea. And then in your bullpen, you, including yourself, have a lot of guys who throw hard. Does a guy like Darren O'Day jump out at you because of, he obviously goes about things a lot differently than most of you guys have been? Yeah, I mean, he, he's fun to watch. I mean, he was just to watch him throw from down there. I played catch with him for the first time yesterday, and um, it's just different. So it's just, I mean, you can see why he's been so good for so long because um, the way it comes out from that, that arm slot is just different. So it's, um, yeah, I, I'm excited to watch him from a up-close perspective. So, um, yeah, he, he's definitely a good guy to have around, and um, I think a lot of guys are going to learn a lot from him.